Hi everyone and welcome to another Kickstarter unboxing from the Offline Gamer and today we've got something that I've been looking forward to a lot. This is the Dale of Merchants collection. Now this is from Asami Aloxo and Snowdale Design and this is the next in the Dale of Merchants set of games. So first up we have Dale of Merchants which I backed on Kickstarter I think it was 2016 or so. And then the next year we had Dale of Merchants 2. And Dale of Merchants, for those who don't know, is a deck building game where you are playing animals in a marketplace and you have to build your market stall. And the way it works is that as you go through the game, you collect cards, a standard deck building type game, and then you have to make stalls. And then the first stall has to be the value of one. So you play a, a card that is the value of one. And then the next one has to have a value of two, all the way up to, I think it's seven. Uh, and then the first person to build all of their market stalls wins the games. And of course, uh, standard deck building mechanics, the cards you can use to buy other cards or you can use them for actions. So it's very similar to other deck builders, but it's got a nice little twist. And uh, it is without a doubt one of the favorite games I've ever backed on Kickstarter. So I've been really looking forward to seeing the Dale of Merchants collection. So let's have a look at the box. And Dale of Merchants Collection is a competitive deck building game for two to four players. You'll become an animal felt merchant doing new techniques, trading goods and managing your stock. The first one to finish their astounding merchant stall is the winner. So in the box we've got not only uh, new animal decks and that's one of the good things about the Dale of Merchants games is that you mix and match the decks you want depending on how you want to play the game. So some of the animal decks are a bit more passive, some of them have got a bit more player interaction so you really are able to customise the game. Uh, in the way that you want to play it. Uh, so we've got lots more cards, 220 new cards, 64 large cards, one double-sided game board, which is for the marketplace. And then we've got card dividers, cardboard coins, cardboard tokens, an animal folk compendium, cardboard clock, and two custom dice. So some of these are for new mechanics that are in the game that weren't in the previous uh, Dale of Merchants games. So, you also have the ability to play an animal felt character, which is those there, which give you unique ways of playing the game, or trap cards to further spice up your game. And the content is fully compatible with other games in the series. So we've got eight new animal felt decks and 50 unique characters. As well as that, we've got this little pack here, which I think updates the cards in the original game. So we'll take a look at that as well. I think it just clarifies some of the rules so that uh, they don't interact too badly with the mechanisms in this game. So we'll crack all of this open and take a look at da -da -da -da, the Dale of Merchants collection. The rich culture of various trading competitions has tested the wits of hopeful merchants far and wide. This time, creativity and innovation take center stage as the winner shall become the director of the greatest exhibition in the world. Following the success of the first two Dale of Merchants games, we have been working hard, creating new content and taking the series to new heights. Now we are finally ready to introduce Dale of Merchants Collection. Here's what's included. Eight new innovative animal folk decks ready to hit the table by themselves or in combination with the decks from previous games in the series. Many new features, including over 50 character cards that grant each player unique abilities, trap cards to spice up the competition and catch opponents off guard, and many additions to improve the storage and organization of the entire series. Dale of Merchant series is a fresh take on the deck building genre, delivering a gripping experience to fans of competitive card games. You can highly customize each game by picking the animal folk decks to be used. Each of these thematic decks focuses on different aspects of gameplay. Exploring different combinations ensures that every game is very different from the last. Adding the new character cards with their unique player abilities into the mix results in near endless variety. As usual for the series, Dale of Merchants Collection is a standalone game, while also being fully compatible with all previously released Dale of Merchants games. The game's box even has plenty of space to store the whole series. If you're a fan of Dale of Merchants, this is a great addition to your gaming collection. For newcomers, 
this is a perfect opportunity to jump in and explore what Dale of Merchants has to offer. So I know I've said it before, but I was really, really looking forward to this game. Really looking forward to this because not only does it give us more content for Dale of Merchants, it's also a big box for us to store all of the old content in. So what have we got here? We've got the clock. We've got lots of tokens to punch out. That's going to be lots of fun. Oh, there's a nice little hand on for the clock, so that will go in there. Huh. We have the Dallas Merchants Collection Animal Folk Companion. So this is a list of all of the animal folk. So we've got all the ones from Dale of Merchants 1 and 2 and the collection. And a reference to all of the keywords that come on the cards. Alert cards. Finish, return, reusable, what they what they all mean. Nice quick reference guide. And we have a Dale of Merchants collection rule book. So that tells you what contents are in the collection, what was in one and two, and what's in the upcoming Dale of Merchants 3, the Grand Continental Railway. Ooh, can't wait for that. So this means you don't have to carry rule books for every expansion, well not expansion, every game with you, everything's all in one place. So really looking forward to this. Special thanks to all 1826 Kickstarter backers. There's quite a few of us then. So here we get into the good stuff. Do you want more Dale of Merchants? I mean I always want more Dale of Merchants but there's nothing he currently sells that I don't have so <laughs> that's not relevant to me but Right, what we've got here. So this is our new, uh, let's take some of these cards out. This is our new market board. So, ooh, it's like a sort of Expo World's Fair type thing. That's cool. Just so people can compare that to the old ones, because I'm gonna start putting this stuff in the box anyway. We've got the original one, which looks like that. the night time and for Dale of Merchants 2 we have that and there's the night time so the space there for all of the boards and also enough space for the one in Dale of Merchants 3 so that will be excellent right what else have we got in here we've got some cards here we have some foam, which probably won't need once I've started put all the cards in. We have all of our new animal decks. So, and our new dice. So what we'll do is we'll go through everything and then we'll put everything in the box and see what it all looks like once it's assembled. So, oh, I think there's something else in here. Oh, it's the little plastic Thing, which is for the clock, presumably. So you, the hand will stay in. So that's nice and straightforward. Right. Okay, so the cards have all been unwrapped. So let's see what we've got. We've got some new animal folk decks first. So let's go with this. We've got the Vigorous Emperor Penguins. So let's see what it says about the Emperor Penguins. Uh, Penguins give you powerful, potent effects for tough situations. Their power comes at a cost which seasoned players can turn into an advantage. Okay, so. <laughs> cool. Okay. That's the Emperor Penguins. Next up, I did get all these out of the way, actually. So next up we have the Wealthy. And what's that? Two water? I don't even know what they are. Two waterers. Okay, uh, they utilize gold. They benefit from the riches gathered by their ancestors. You can save up gold and gain the options, including purchase, purchasing expensive cards more easily. Next up we have the enthusiastic wood turtles. Turtles like to play new techniques, but struggle to finish them. If you're not careful, everything can come to a standstill. You will have to think around this, interesting. Uh, mischievous Tasmanian Devils. They like to trick others. They're your best bet if you want to mess up your opponent's plans. Uh, 
the fickle giant pangolins. Now they, these need the, the, the dice. So, pangolins cause destruction by being so absent-minded. Even more skilled players may have trouble exploiting their potential without backfiring it. Source and destination on these cards are determined by the result on the corresponding die. Oh, okay, interesting. So you have to use two for that. That's, that's definitely a new mechanic. Uh, swindling black-headed gulls. They like to gift junk. They absolutely love gifting junk to their opponents to slow them down. Novices can get the hand of them pretty fast. Just be prepared for a slightly slower game. The lively slender mongooses who work hard during the day. Managing your tempo becomes increasingly important as you try to benefit more from them than your opponents do. Uh, the stealthy long winged tomb bats. Oh dear. Bats appear innocent during the day, but just wait for the night. Your possessions will end up either missing or destroyed by the time dawn approaches. We have lots of new junk cards. We have, ah, now this is something new, which is really good. These are cards for all of the animal races, and you can use these to help you randomize the game. So you can pick the uh, races you want just by randomly selecting these cards. So, no favouritism, people can't choose their favourites, it's just utterly random. So they're really nice. What have we got here? Uh, oh, there's some more of those there. And then we have a purple player, and then these are the trap cards, I guess. Mm. So the purple player has their own trap cards. The pink player has their own trap cards. The blue player does as well. And so does the green player. And then Gallant's prank cards. Jellion's mercantile card. So these are going to be specific cards for the uh, uh, some of the different animal characters. So Ooh, these are all interesting cards. Your prey plays a technique card. I wonder who your prey is. Your prey's hand size is decreased by two for this turn. Wow, so these these abilities certainly will mix up the game quite a bit. But obviously you can choose to play without them, you can just play with the standard the standard decks. Wow, okay. That's really interesting. Right. Let's have a look at some of these heroes. Or traders, merchants. One for each animal type, I would imagine, maybe. Macaw, Tortora, Desert Mitre, Mandarin Duck. Now there's lots and lots of different ones that aren't in this game. There's just... There's so many of them. It's amazing. Spend three to roll the dice. Search your discard pile for a card and place it. And then depending on the dice roll, it goes in your hand. Or in your discard pile or the top of your deck. I don't know. <laughs> These are incredible. And there's so many of them. Oh, Red Panda. Oh. So those are all of the heroes. What we got here? Someone's master plan. Someone's matrix. Ah, so the, again, these are going to be cards for that particular player to have that change the way they play the game. Wow. Okay. And finally, I think we have this pack, which is all of the divider cards for all of the different types of animals. Let's have a look at those. So yeah, the macaws, the pandas. So these are all just the art off the number one cards, I think. Raccoons, squirrels, offlots, chameleons, platypuses, sloths, crocodiles, foxes, polecats, snowy owls, Eurasian beavers, archiving desert mice. Are they? Are, I don't think these are in yet. I think oh, they're there in the third game. Yeah, that's why I didn't recognise them. Uh, hares. Oh, nice. Grizzled tree kangaroos and the penguins. Tasmanian devils, everything from the collection. Uh, that, uh, yes, okay, so 
that symbol is for the first game, second game, third game, and collection. And then junk cards for all games, trap cards, specialty cards, and deck selection cards. And then just one for the end. So I'm going to get cracking on putting all these in the box. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes when I've done that. Okay, here we go then. So we've got the all the various animal folks in here, nicely arranged. Junk cards, trap cards, deck selection cards, specialty cards, and then there's a few other bits and pieces, like uh, some of the cards that came with the promo sets. Or uh, actually, this is nice, the mini market board, so you can use it without having to use the big board. If you want to just take a few of the cards away with you. I haven't popped out all of the tokens yet. All the dice are here with a space for the one in the Dale of Merchants 3 game. And then I've got one of the big cards under there. So the only thing left for us to look at is what's in the Dale of Merchants update pack and how it compares to the originals. So let's put that to one side. Let's open this up. So uh, we've got three new essential purchase cards. So let me grab one of the originals and see what the difference is between them. So. That's the old one, that's the new one, old one. So, when you purchase this card, you may throw away up to three junk cards used in the purchase. Whereas the original is you may throw away all junk cards used in the purchase. So a slight tweak there. Next up, we have a change for the thieving Northern Raccoons. Discard one random card from up to two other players' hands. And the original card said, Dis all other players randomly discard one card. So if you're playing with four players, no, you don't need to do it to every player, you just choose two of them. So, okay, interesting. The uh, nostalgic item from the squirrels. When you build a stack with this card, you may include one junk card or animal folk card from any set. When you build a stack with this card, you may search your discard pile and take any single card from it to build the stack. So it changes the uh, effect that it has. You can now use a junk card or an animal folk card instead of just choosing a random one from your, well not a random one, but choosing one from your discard pile. Oh, they've also changed the acorn card as well. Swap this card with any card from a stack in an opponent's store. Place the new card in your hand. Swap this card with any card from a stack in another player's store. So it's just a slight wording tweak there from another player to opponent. It probably to um, make it consistent across all the games, I would imagine. So that's a look at the contents for the Dale of Merchants collection. So Sammy, well done. Excellent design as always. And uh, the game looks really good. So thanks everyone for watching this unboxing video and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.